This is a reality debate program. The topic of today's debate is the harmful effects of tobacco. The moderator and the boy are urging minors should not smoke tobacco. And that's a gesture that's been applauded by the audience. And the spokesman for the tobacco company is Nick. He's been spurned by the entire audience, but he's quickly turned the tables on them because one of Nick's great skills is the power of conversation. He's the best at turning black and white on his head. He said it wasn't the tobacco companies that wanted this teenager to be terminally ill. It was the anti-tobacco organizations. The more deaths caused by tobacco, the higher the budgets of these organizations. The experts were dumbfounded. But that's not all. Nick told them. Nick told them that the youth are the future of our country. And that's why the company decided to spend $50 million to ban underage smoking. In just a few words, Nick turned the tide. The audience's attitude towards Nick changed dramatically. Although the cost of this perfect public relations is a bit high. But for the rich and powerful tobacco company, it's not a problem. And the anti-tobacco organization didn't stop there. The the very next day, representatives of the organization went on record to the media saying that they would print a skull on tobacco packaging as a warning about the dangers of tobacco. The spokesman also told the press that the proposal would be presented to Congress in two weeks. Tobacco company executives are in a panic. They meet urgently to discuss how to deal with the situation. Faced with declining sales, the bosses were forced to take the issue seriously. Afterwards, Nick told the press that if he could attend the tobacco audience, he'd have something big to tell them, and the president's office phone was ringing off the hook. At the hearing, the two sides discussed whether or not to print skulls on the packages. The positive side thinks it's necessary because, according to authoritative surveys, 80% of people prefer pictures to words. So printing skulls on packages would be more visual than words, and it would also serve as a warning to minors. Nick didn't take the side of the tobacco company this time. Instead, he made his point more objectively. First, he admits that long-term use of tobacco is harmful to the human body, but he's not in favor of printing skulls and packages because the number one killer in America isn't tobacco, it's cholesterol. So, if we're going to print skulls, we should print them on coke and burgers. Nick also mentioned that raising health awareness among minors, it should not be the government search, but that education of parents and teachers is the responsibility of every parent. After speaking, Nick looked back at his son. After experiencing many things, he finally realized his son and his family were the most important things in his life. After the hearing, Nick walked out. The skeleton proposal didn't pass, and the boss invited Nick back to the company, but he refused. He believed that his ability could be used in other jobs as well. At the end of the story, Nick became a lawyer with a sense of justice.